guys. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I know it's been quite a while, but um, I've been busy crafting, doing things, and I just haven't gotten the time to record. So today I am here to do a project share of what I made for Eileen Sanrio Swap 2024, um, hosted by Eileen Payne. You can find her on YouTube and on Instagram. And um, this was a partner swap, so she assigned us partners, and my partner is Fritzy. Um, I will link her information down in the description. Um, and uh, yeah, um, I don't remember it off the top of my head. It's like Fritzy, Greg, something. Um, but anyways, so... <laughs> Um, by the time you guys see this, Fritzy will have already received her swap, and so what we were supposed to do is create a, like, large item to hold all of our goodies, and so I decided to make this very large baseball cap, um, and then after I created everything, it's actually too big to fit in here, um, <laughs> so... I'm gonna make the packaging cute and everything and put it together and put it in a box, but um, I kind of broke the rules and it wasn't on purpose. I'm sorry, Eileen. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but um, hopefully the cuteness will make up for my rule breaking and, and I didn't intend to do that, but. Um, so here is my um, box and it's a hat box and it has these like clouds all the way around actually let me just take off this is actually a lid so you I made this thing here braid lanyard thing and it just sticks off the top and then it becomes a box but so that I can show you this better um, this is the front and it has both the twin stars and then I backed it on these um, prim stars like that I layered up and then it has these hollow um, and white and blue clouds on the side and then um, I made this little dangly thing here um, so yeah this all just kind of like things for effect or whatever and also so that you can hold it so then um, I made this uh, box like I said and one of the things you had to make was I think it was like a a banner a wand or I forget what the last choice was but I chose to make a banner um, so let me set this to the side because it does take quite a bit of room Fritzy when you're watching this um, actually you'll probably already have opened it but it's easier if you kind of push the front down and then push the back um, and it just kind of slides on or whatever but um, Oh, I chose to make a banner, but actually this is not the banner, this is the tag flip. We had to do a tag flip and you needed to have a minimum of, um, a minimum of four tags, I think. But, so, when you originally signed up, you had to pick three characters that you like, and that way Eileen could match you up with somebody who is, um, compatible with their Sanrio characters. And it happened that me and Fritzy picked the exact same characters. We picked Hello Kitty, the Twin Stars, and uh, Kuropi. So we got paired together, and um, once you got into your partners, then you could decide like how you were going to do your swap. And me and Fritzy decided that we were going to craft all three of our characters. So... Um, I wanted to represent all the characters the same in the tag flip, so I made three of each character. And my original plan was that I wanted to do one in full color, one like monochromatic of the character, um, and one in black and white. And it didn't exactly go that way. This one was supposed to be the monochromatic one, but his bow just didn't look right when it was all green and so it's red um, and well it is what it is it turned out really cute 
um, I think. And so this is my first tag, and it's Kuropi, but it's kind of taken some artistic license. Um, I used rhinestones for his eyes, this uh, foam bow for his bow tie, and then in the back, um, it was optional if you wanted to send goodies or not, but, you know, I made all these die cuts, and I just thought she would like them, and so there's a bunch of die cuts in here, um, which I'm not even going to pull out because you'll see it maybe when, I hope, when Fritzy um, opens her her swap. Um, but anyway, so that's the first tag. And then um, this is the second tag. And it's also Kuropi. Um... And they're not necessarily in order, they're just like in the order that I put them on the ring. Um, so this is um, Twin Stars, obviously, and I meant it to kind of be like a rainbow, but it's, again, artistic license, and I just love how this came out. These um, are uh, from a cup file from ovalreysvg.com that's o-v-a-l-e-r-y-s-v-g dot com and they have so many cute things you guys and every week they come out with um, an SVG file that they give you for free um, so it's it's really cool I think so anyways um, I also put some die cuts on the back of this other tag but that's that twin star one and it's kind of messy on the back but it's okay um so then the next tag is this one and oh actually i think some of the charms are dangling the wrong way from flipping it but let's see how does this go okay hold on okay so it has all of this and it's supposed to be like a newspaper and then um, the twin stars are all in the newspaper and then I added this chain with these little star dangly bits and then this says don't quit your daydream because you know like wish upon a star kind of thing all right so hold on let me recalibrate here All right, so then the next one. Okay, the next tag is this tag. And again, it's twin stars. And I just kind of had fun layering these different shiny papers and iridescent and stars. And this is the star doily from KS Craft. And then um, I just embossed it with one of my embossing folders that I thought kind of goes with it you can't see it that good on camera but eh, it's there and it's like fun texture and stuff anyways um this is another Kurobi tag and I don't know if you can tell you can kind of tell the black is hollow and I embossed it and then I found um this tv uh shape in my cricket hold on okay sorry about that my son is excited Okay, anyway, so this is Black Hollow. I found this TV in Cricut Design Space, and then I separately made this. It's supposed to be like a screen, and kind of like the hollow part is static. Um, I don't know if it's coming across exactly, but I just thought it was cute, and, it, and then I put him like this, kind of like he's zombied on the TV or something. I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought it came out cute. <laughs> And then um, on the back, I have a pocket, and this is a Kuropi-inspired sequins mix, which is a lot pretty, prettier when you take it out, but hopefully she'll show you guys that. And then, um, oh, this one got stuck on the paper glove. But, okay, so then this is one of the Hello Kitty ones. Um, supposed to be the black and white one, but... I just did these two kitties, a hollow outline, and all these different colors, um, and layered a uh, stamp die, and then I have some die cuts on the back, because this one didn't have a pocket, um, I didn't make a pocket for it, and then this is another one of the Hello Kitty ones, and it just has Hello Kitty on this 
candy with her little bear and it's all pink and then um, on one of the tags, she wanted us to put our information, like just our social media information, not like our address or anything like that. Um, and um, okay, so um, in here, because I didn't have or add pockets to these other ones, I just kind of ran out of time and I have to send this. So I'm kind of cutting corners, so I'm sorry. Um, but. Uh, there's my information. This was the swab made with love by Sophia at her, her, yes, 2024. But there's a sequence mix in here. There's an iron on Hello Kitty transfer, um, and a bunch of Hello Kitty stickers in here. And then this is my last tag, and it is a Hello Kitty, like a birthday type of tag. And I just used these heart balloons in the background and this pink present. And then she has a pink birthday cake, of course. Um, and for whatever reason, she has a red bow, even though all her stuff is pink. But I thought it turned out really cute. I really think that Fritzy will enjoy it. Um, we have swapped many times in the past, but it's just been Halloween embellishments. Um, so it was really fun to do this swap. I have never done a Hello Kitty swap. I've really only, um, crafted, like, Hello Kitty birthday cards for a birthday challenge before, but I haven't really done a whole bunch of crafting like this. So it was really fun. Um, and then, okay, so like I said, I had done for the... Thing that you got to pick um, for the thing that you got to pick oh no my banner is tangled okay I did the banner um and I've never made a banner before you guys um so hopefully I did a good job I'm gonna set this maybe over here Okay. Okay, hold on. Let me push some of this aside so that you can see this goodness over here. Okay. Okay. So, um, this is the banner um and i'll show you each piece but um this is okay let's see hold on let me see if i can zoom in for you no maybe Shh, babe okay he's tattling on his sister but um i made for each character I made a separate mix and this one I um, made the hot air balloon pink and then I added a doily there's a rosette in there layered with some sparkly um, string and I added these cute glasses inspired by a sticker that I had I don't know where it is right now but um, it was inspired by a sticker that I saw and I just thought it was so cute so I used the KS Craft glasses in order to layer this up and just kind of give her a little bit extra fun. And then um, the next one is the Twin Stars one. And I did the foam in pink. So like if you see the side, it has that pink element for um, Lala and then the blue glitter on the front for Kiki and then I added some little stars right here in the middle and then these are those same cutouts um, that I used the ovalry SVG file and then um, even like the little rivets the little eyelets are stars too but I just really love how these turned out and um, I layered them with like several layers so that it's like, it's not too flimsy. It's not, like, super, super sturdy either, but it's not super flimsy. Um, 
and then there's this one and this one's the Kuropi one and I like don't have that much green stuff I discovered um so like all of this none of it is really like all the same collection it's just kind of using things from my stash that I thought went with each character and I like really love how they turned out but this one I used this um it's like a ombre rainbow or something um ink paper for the back uh banner which this is the large banner set from KS Craft um and I actually bought it specifically for this swap because like I said I've never done a banner before um, and I did the hot air balloon in gold. I made a special Kuropi mix that you saw in the tag flip. Um, and then this uh, Kuropi, I actually put together myself in um, design space on my Cricut because I bought a pack of Kuropi SVGs supposedly, but it, they're just clip art. None of the SVG files work. Um, so I was really disappointed, um, for that, and then this, I just, you know, I, it's simple shapes that I, like, welded together, and then, um, I found a bow tie, a bow in the, in the library, and then I couldn't figure out how to do the arms and legs, so I just cut all of the arms and legs for all my Kuropis out by hand, um, and then, I used this lime green foam. It kind of looks yellow, I think, on camera, but it's lime green. And um, I put that behind here and here just to make it more kuropi ish I guess. Um, but I am so happy with how this came out. And I just think it looks so cute. And I know that Fritzy is going to love it so much. And I'm, I'm just really excited for her to receive this. I think she's going to flip out. Um, okay, and then, um, so last we had to um, do a shaker. We had to do uh, two shakers, maybe? But um, I did a few extra because... I wanted to do one for each character. I didn't want to leave anybody out. So this is uh, Kiki. And I had this cabochon that I think I hauled from AliExpress like the last year maybe. Um, and then I used this blue paper that has like um, shooting stars with like uh, rainbow tails. And um, this shiny like I layered a bunch of doilies this is the star border doily set from KS Craft this is my creative time a doily set and then this is a shaker I don't remember it might be like Addy Crafter KLJ UYP or whatever it is I, I don't remember um but I think he's super cute and there's a lot of stars in the mix and this fun like hollow sequins but I just love him and I think she'll love him too and there's a tiny little safety pin dangle thing on each one um, except for this one so this one I'll do last because it was just like a random I just whoops had an extra so that's what I did um, so this one I love that hollow on the star, but okay, there you go, I think. Um, and again, I just layered everything up, kind of like playing with my different stuff, and I think it came out so cute, and I love the sequin mist. I don't know if you can see the little balls inside are white and pink, and it has pink stars and little gems and everything, and I just love her. Um, but she came out really cute. And then this one, I found these cute little lollipops at Hobby Lobby, and they were 50% off, so that was even better, but, um, I just love her so much. And then, um, okay, then we have Hello Kitty, and again, I have this cute hollow, I had this resin bow in my stash, I want to say that this is from... Rebecca, 
from a Halloween swap, but I do not remember. So if I am not giving you credit and you made this um, and gave it to me in a Halloween swap, I'm sorry. Feel free to comment below and I'll fix it. Um, but... Um, this one I just kind of picked stuff that, like, I thought looked cute together, and, um, she has her own special mix, and I think when I made this mix, I hadn't found, I had, um, little Hello Kitty bows, so unfortunately they're not in there, but the Hello Kitty mix does have them, so, um, yeah, I'm really happy with these, and, I, you know, it's not good to assume, but I am really assuming that Fritzy is going to love it too. Okay, and then this is the Kuropi one, and he's so cute, and I love the mix that I put together. Um, like I said, I don't have a lot of green in my stash, so I just, you know, kind of had to make it work, and then it has the that Cricut hollow craft board um, so I think that gives it a really cute touch as well um, but there's that one and then I have this last one and like I said this one was just kind of a bonus because I had die cut so much um, and I don't know if you can see them but there's these little bunnies up here and they're like sort of clear I don't know they're they're pretty cool it looks cool in person um and then I had this glitter bow I added this uh flat back in the middle and I used e6000 to put all these guys on so that they don't fall off um so I'm hoping that will be effective and this one I didn't put a dangle since it's the extra one anyways um okay and then oh okay so next I'm going to put this on the tag flip, um, but it was just an extra thing. We had to do a crafter's choice thing. So I decided to do this dangle, and it just has a bunch of different charms and flat backs that I turned into charms with um, bales on the back. But I wire-wrapped a bunch of these stacks and like just added stuff that I thought was cute. Um... And actually, I think only Kurobi and Hello Kitty are on this dangle um, because I didn't have any more um, Kiki and Lala. So I'm sorry about that, but I put a lot of stars to represent them in the dangle. And then it has this star um, clasp. So um, yeah, that will go on the tag flip in just a second. Okay, and then... Um, we had to have an embellishment box, and let me again move everything over. Okay, so we had to make um, a box for our embellishment box so I'm just gonna show you the lid the rest of it is just white but the I decorated the top and um, it has Kuropi and this uh, lily pad and then I added these just for effect and I like to put these sorts of embellishments in odd numbers so that's why it has five instead of six but I just think he's so cute and again I made him using my Cricut and then the feet and hands I cut out by hand um, and you know he has that white and red striped shirt so I found this paper in a valentine pad and I just think it's so cute and I hope that Fritzy loves it and then um, this is the embellishment box that I found um, and it's a little bit extra big so um, it is supposed to be a bento box but hold on See? that's the lid um, and then it has two trays um, so like in where they use bento boxes you like put your lunch in there or whatever um, 
and so it has all the different compartments so that your food stays separate but anyways um so the top i just added all these different kinds of bows um in more or less hello kitty twin stars and kurobi colors I didn't have much green, so I'm sorry, Fritzy. I hope you have green in your own stash and that these are useful for you. I added some extra wire-wrapped beads in here. And then I just added a bunch of these super cute beads that I had found. And these stars, like, I immediately knew that I needed to go buy some of these stars um, for this swap. But I um, didn't get to go in time to, like, really do anything with them. But I wanted to share them with her, so I just put them in her in her box for her. Um, and I think she will really enjoy crafting with them. I um, really like them, and I need to get some more for myself after this. But, anyways, I digress. Um, so um, I did. Um, compile a bunch of different um, Hello Kitty charms. So this one is like, they're not all um, our characters. They're just Sanrio in general, but this is my Melody. It's a My Melody Donut. Hold on. Okay. Um, these ones are um, Kiki, and it has all these Kiki heads in there. This one is, looks like Pachaco and Pom Pom Purin. And so it has these little donuts in here. And then Pom Pom Purin and Pachaco heads. And then this one has all these little Hello Kitties. If you can see them. Um, my Melody, I already opened. Um, these ones have these different little, um, can you see them? Kurobi heads with a little heart and then this full body guy and then these ones it looks like they are Hello Kitty and um, Cinema Roll do you see him? Donuts um, and these are Kuromi Donuts and it looks like there's some Kuromi heads in the bottom too And so I kind of just put what would fit in here. Those are little Lala heads and then the twin star one. And so I put all of these in here. And then I think I'm going to put some shred in there. But I don't know where I put the shred bag right now. So I will do that off camera. Um, but see then this tray just kind of sits in there. And then... This guy will go on top and I'll arrange it so that none of these come out when I do that. Um, but since I'm going to add the shred, I'm just going to leave him here. And then this fits very snug on this box. And this box fits in here. It fits in here just like that so that will be in there and then I might see if I can fit the banner on top or something I don't know we're gonna have to figure that out but um, that's that and then we had to buy a store-bought goodie of five dollars um, and I forgot that there was a five dollar limit um, so whatever um, this is my store-bought goodie that I got for her. It's a Kurobi mug, and, um, I know she's a coffee lover, too, so, or tea, um, so I think she'll like that. And then, this is just extra. I had found this picture of, um, Kurobi, and it has these colors or whatever, and I just thought it was so cute but they were this way like this this upside down um facing the other way and then but they were like this all next to each other so it would have been really long to try to make it into a card this is already i want to say like six and a half by six and a half or something like that so it's a very large card 
and um, I used it to house these little embellishments. I don't know what she would use them for, but I think they're very cute. Um, and I think this one's upside down. Well, whatever. She can put them however she likes. Um, actually, that's going to bug me. So let's just go ahead and fix that. Okay, and I just put a little piece of foam tape so that she can easily take that off if she wants to. And... Okay. So there's that. Um, and on my screen it looks like these are yellow, but they're green stripes. Um, and so I'm just going to send those along for her. Just like that. Um, and I believe that is my swap. Um, so thank you guys for stopping by and sticking through this pretty long video. Um, thank you, Eileen, for hosting this swap. I had so much fun, and um, I hope if you do the swap again in the future, I can participate again. But um, please like this video, um, you know, send it to your friends if you thought it was cool, and go over to Fritzy's uh, Instagram and check out what she made. Um, if I haven't already uploaded a video too. Um, thank you again and I'll catch you on the next one.